In May 1973, Skylab was placed in Earth orbit to answer a fundamental question. Could human beings live and work effectively for long periods in the weightless environment of space? To test that question, three separate three-man crews occupied the space station for 28, 59, and 84 days. Like all of us, their entire physical and mental being had been shaped since birth by the ever-present force of Earth's gravity. Now, suddenly, they had complete freedom of body motion in all three dimensions. Heavy objects were also weightless aboard Skylab and could be moved with the slightest of effort. It was the small bits and pieces that generally gave them problems. Other petty annoyances were things like haircut snippings that had to be vacuumed before they could drift away or having to use a vacuum in the shower to collect the water that, in space, refuses to go down a drain. The Skylab astronauts conducted a wide variety of experiments in basic and applied science, like studying the violent behavior of the sun, taking thousands of photographs of the Earth, surveying its resources, testing systems and equipment, evaluating their potential for future space vehicles. They also took advantage of the Zero Gravity Laboratory to demonstrate phenomena difficult or impossible to duplicate on Earth. Throughout the missions, crewmen kept a close check on themselves to see how their bodies were responding to long-term zero gravity. They exercised daily, stressing their bodily systems to the maximum to make sure the heart, the lungs, the muscles, all the bodily processes perform together the same way in the absence of gravity. They also exercised to stay in shape in weightlessness, with no gravity to work against, the muscles literally have it too easy, and without regular exercise, muscle tissue would soon deteriorate. A post-flight comparison showed that crewmen who had exercised most also readapted best when they returned to the gravity of Earth. Finally, there were exercise routines not in the flight plan that belonged more to the category of fun and games.
From the 171 days that Skylab was occupied, a tremendous store of information was returned. But of all the data, one finding stands alone. Human beings can live and work efficiently for long periods in the weightless environment of space. Such a finding was crucial to performing extended manned missions in the future and therefore vital to our future role in space. Such was the legacy of Skylab.